Morning. Uh, yeah, run, well, afternoon now, I guess. Uh, yeah, running a bit late. Um, just had a silly long run this morning, nearly nearly four hours. Um, I'm training for an ultra marathon in four weeks' time. Part of my 60th birthday celebrations. Um, and I've just been watching the football. Uh, it's half time. And Celtic got 3 0 in front, so I'm pretty pleased about all that. Um, yeah, I'm sort of, I was a bit sorry, I was a bit sort of all over the place yesterday, but I had some bad news as I did share. Um, but you know, onwards and upwards. Um, yeah, I thought today I'd talk a little bit about nutrition. Um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've shared that I'm a vegan and. I'm a vegan because it's the right thing to do in my book. Um, it's not necessarily a health decision, but just, you know, like politically and from an animal welfare point of view. But that is just for me. I don't preach. Um, I would never criticise anyone for eating meat. I'd never try and stop anyone from eating meat. And I'm certainly not criticising anyone who's a, um, a lacto-ovo-vegetarian. You know, vegetarians who still eat. Um, dairy products and eggs uh, it's, it's a personal thing it's the same, I don't preach about religion I've got my own views, I don't preach about uh, I do preach about politics but I'm trying not to and um, yeah but I'll, what I will say is um, just on a personal level um, I mean I've been a veg now for about 10 years and um, when I when I first Gave up meat and fish, you know, just because you know, I became a vegetarian, um, which was, you know, about the same time as I gave up alcohol as well, for strangely enough. But um, when I first did that, um, me and my daughter went on holiday to um, Florida, and it was, I found it very difficult to be a vegetarian there, and I wound up falling off the wagon with it and um, started eating. You know, started with bacon and steaks and then, you know, seafood. And I carried on when I got back here. And um, I found, after about two or three weeks, I suddenly found myself getting really depressed. And I thought, well, hang on, what's going on? And at the time, I didn't have anything to be depressed about. I didn't have any financial worries. I didn't have any relationship difficulties. I didn't have a relationship, so you know, there, was no, there was no problem. Um, yeah, no, no work problems, nothing, you know. So I thought, well, what the what the hell's going on here? And it was it was simply a question of my diet, you know. And um, once I start stopped eating the meat and the fish, my my mood improved. But having said that, I worked a few years later. I worked at a gym, and. One of my colleagues there decided he would he'd try being a vegetarian, I think following my, my example. And the same thing happened to him in reverse. When he gave up meat and fish, he started getting very depressed. And then his mood improved when he when he sort of went back went back to being a you know a carnivore. So, you know, that's what I say. I don't I don't preach. Well what I will say is I think we've kind of lost lost our way a little bit with nutrition and you know I'm not you know, my, I mean, looking back to my grandparents, um, okay, they were, you know, back then people, there were strictures on people from, from of a financial nature, but, you know, my, both, both sides, you know, both sets of my grandparents, they'd, they'd have a, they'd have a proper cook, cook breakfast every day. Um, they'd probably have something to eat with their 11s. Um, they would have a full dinner at dinner time, you know, sort of like one o'clock, something like that. Probably have something with their cup of tea and, you know, like a few biscuits or maybe a bit of cake in the afternoon with their cup of tea. And have a high tea, which would usually, I don't know, I mean, it'd probably be, I don't know, something like, I don't know, beans on toast or I don't know, whatever. But it would be, you know, it'd be something quite substantial, but not as substantial as their lunch. And and quite possibly have like a supper as well. And um, 
Okay, both both my nanas were a bit on the tubby side, but then they they both had a sweet tooth and they used to like sort of snacking on on sweets. But <coughs> both my grandfathers, um, you know, one was a, one was a shopkeeper and the other one was um, a gardener, and they were both stick thin. And I think you know the the secret with that they had was they they didn't eat meat every day. I don't think, or well, they had breakfast, but I mean, I don't think they. Didn't eat red meat every day. Um, they ate seasonally, and they and they generally ate locally and always fresh produce. And now we get so much frozen stuff and stuff that's flown in, and I, and I think that that's probably where we're we're losing our way a little bit. And we're we're I think we're perhaps overthinking it. Um, so I think yeah, we you know the, I think what I'm saying today is that we need to sort of. Um, you know, in some ways, go back to basics with the food and just, just, you know, sort of use a bit of common sense. And, you know, we all know what's good for us. You know, we all know that we should eat vegetables. We all know that we should eat fruit. We also know what suits us and what doesn't suit us. And I think if we sort of, like, start to take things like that on board, um, we'll do better. So on that, I think I'll leave it. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Cheers. Bye-bye.